pretty good this morning. I'm finally on time for the first time in the last couple of days. And that feels pretty good, honestly. As I'm driving, I'm noticing this snow that's still lingering around from the snowstorm the other week. And man, I'm looking forward to spring and warm weather, green grass, and all of those things. Snow is really nice when it first comes down, but man, it's such a brown, dirty, messy thing. It's just a couple days after it comes down. At least here in Virginia, that's how it works. Today, let's talk about politics. Hey everyone, tonight I want to talk about how this Joby Gorilla Pod does not stay together anymore. Hey everyone, so as the vlogs get closer to 30, I keep thinking about vlogging and um, particularly what kinds of things I'm putting in the vlog and what kind of value they offer to me and to you as well. Now, I've already decided to stop at 30 vlogs because that's what I originally set out to do and quite frankly, this is getting to take up too much of my time time that I should be spending doing some other things. Wow, that light is really bright in my eyes. Let me see what this does. So here's something that I've been thinking about the last couple of days. And originally it was brought on by a, a video from a guy named Gary Vaynerchuk. He runs a um, media company that does a lot of campaigns across social media. He's very big on Snapchat right now. And fascinating guy, fascinating business guy. But he said the other day that his business is day trading for attention. And thinking about that a little bit, the other side of that is, uh, or you could say that he's day trading for people's time. People's attention and time is quite limited. You can only do so much in the 24 hours that you have every day. Now, according to the CDC in 2013, I believe, um, the average life expectancy here in the US is 78.8. At least I think if I understood things right, that's what they said. That's a lot of time. But it is also a amount of time that is quantifiable. There are several things in my life right now that I'm really trying to work on doing better at. And um, this year in particular, I've been using the calendar that you see me mark off most days um, to keep track of a number of those things. I can't just go out tomorrow and do the things that I want to do or that I think I'm supposed to do. But I can do something tomorrow that can lead in the right direction. If I want to be a better developer, I can keep on working on AngularJS. Baby steps. It's something we've talked about. I talked about just the other week in another video that you know as well as I do that the way to get things done is to break it down and do one thing every day. Uh, but man, it's really hard to do that when it really becomes, uh, when it really comes down to it. Anyway, I feel like I'm rambling just a little bit, but the idea here is that life is uh, on average longer than it's ever been in history and uh, if we look at time as an investment or as um, the currency with which we invest we have more to invest than ever before um, invest time in other people it's really easy for me to get really caught up on the things that I want to do or the things that I want to learn or the things I want to become and in return, we get an investment in their time, of their time as well. So wherever you are today, think about time, think about investments, think about where you're going, and don't think about it in a gloomy sort of way. I don't mean that, I don't mean this to be taken in that way at all. But um, see if there is some sort of motivation or some sort of clarity that you can find in the idea that you only have a certain amount of time to do the things that you want to do. And that's it for today, folks. This is a terrible angle, I already know, 
but I'm going to roll with it. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed this, feel free to give it a thumbs up here on YouTube. And if not, don't worry about it. We'll see you again tomorrow.